Hey, hey, Mzansi. Hello and welcome to Entertainment News Mzansi. If you're new to my channel, you know you're here for the stories. Go ahead, click the subscribe button and of course the bell and you'll never miss an update. While Mzansi advocate Malesela Tefu left Mzansi confused when he withdrew as counsel for four of the accused in the Senzo Mayiwa murder trial. Now, Malesela went into the trial and started throwing wild accusations. First, part of the accusations was that Kelly Kumala is the one who pulled the trigger. He then went on to say that he has a witness who was at the house who's going to speak for themselves and let the people know who killed Senzo Mayiwa and what happened on that fateful day in 2014. In Interviewing on Radio 702 with Bongani Bingwa, Malasela Tefu still is not getting to the point. Now go ahead and listen to Mzansi and leave your thoughts in the comments section. You know I love to hear from you, but for now, you know I will bring you the updates hot just the way you like it. Having promised to talk to us, uh, oh gosh, about uh, more than half an hour ago, we do have Advocate Melissa Latifa on the line. So we thought we'll bring you that interview instead. He joins us now. Thank you for your time and for eventually coming on to the show. Let's pick up on what you've been saying. You say you're being harassed. You've talked about a cabal that wants you to remove and you've pointed your finger all the way to the President of the Republic. Tell us who is harassing you and how? Yes, good morning, Bongani. Uh, you'll appreciate the fact that, yeah, we are dealing with a very serious matter here. I'm a lawyer. And for representing the people who have been alleged of the serious allegations here, and indeed, I've alleged, and even to the highest office in the land. So, I, unfortunately, yesterday, I went to the studios in the newsroom Africa, and being unaware that uh, the president has responded to me, but not to me directly, to the public. So I heard that there was a, a press release uh, refuting those uh, things that, uh, the allegations that I said. What, what exactly has the president me. done? Let's just be specific. No, no, um, no, 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 forget no, for a no, moment no. the newsroom Africa. I just want to understand from your point of view, what are you accusing the president of doing? Actually, you just inter uh, interrupted me. I was just to explain to you to say, I'm not going to say anything on the media. Having realized that the president has responded, I'm going to respond to the president directly. I know the president personally uh, many years ago. So I'm going to engage with the president personally on my own response. So I'm not going to say this in the public. I respect that. I hope you'll appreciate that. Let's talk about the court case. Why have you withdrawn then from that? That is a part and parcel of what I'm going to uh, talk to the president. I'm not going to say anything more than that. And I appreciate the fact that he responded, even though he didn't respond to me directly. But I'm going to hijack that response because he cannot be the response to me, I mean, about me. I mean, about me without me. That is going to well, the well, here's the thing. Here's the difficulty you have. You made these allegations in public. It's not as if you picked up the phone and phoned the presidency. You started this. You must finish it. No, no. I can tell you. I don't have the difficulties. I can tell you. I can. Well, why you. don't you? I'm going to engage president in person. I mean, I'm going to respond to that. But if you want to know... But, no, hold on. Hold on. You you know. Hold on. You understand what I'm trying to say to you? You made these allegations in public, the same means in public. So tell us what it is that you're saying in public. You will know in public in my response. I'm going to respond the manner in which the president responds in later. All right, let's That's what I'm going to do. Let's talk about some of uh, what you have said around this case. Uh, you have made assertions before that you had, for example, a witness who would implicate those who were in the house, Kenny no, Kumala specifically. Bungani, Where is that witness? Let's not go there. That The case is in court. I'm not in court here. I'm not in court on 702. So all those things belong to the court. But so but you are the one. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You no, no, said no, in no, court you would I'm, bring no, these witnesses. No, no, You've no. withdrawn from that case. Who else is going to do it if you're no longer there? Look, I know. I've spoken, I've spoken to uh, the people, the relevant people in this matter, and myself. I mean, those people and myself, my clients, and those people who appointed me to be where I am today, to be able to be in court. Remember, when you go in court you'll be appointed as advocate. You'll be given a brief and you accept it. So myself and those people who are involved 
in this situation where we are, we have, talk, we have spoken, and they knew everything. That thing, it was uh, the thing that happened on the 12th that uh, alleged that I've dropped the, I've, uh, dropped the bomb. It's to you, not those people who are involved in, in, in this matter. They knew before anything. It may be a dropping of the bomb to you, public, not the people that I know. So I say respect the fact that the president has responded to me. Advocate, if I've moved on from the president, I've moved on, keep up with me, keep up with me. You're a man of the law. You should surely know wild allegations and conjecture do not a case make. You know this. Come on. I know very well, of course. You cannot teach me that. So you I can't keep better. throwing things that you don't back up, and then when you're challenged on them, you walk away and say you don't want to talk about it. I'm not accountable to you and anybody. I'm going to respond accordingly to the president. I'm no longer talking about the president. Are you keeping up? That's what I'm telling you. It's because this all is surrounding to what I've said in court and everything. So about this thing, please respect uh, respect uh, 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 and appreciate. Here's the thing. Here's the, the thing. Feelings, You're an officer of the court. You're an officer yeah. of the court. You've now cast aspersions on the trial judge. That, as you know, is unbecoming conduct. That is a court issue. That I will deal with it in court, not on the media. Do you understand your job? Very well. Do you, under- do you understand the rules of procedure, for example? Yeah. Or you want to teach me the rules? I know better. You haven't shown that you do. I've been an advocate for for 12 years now. I qualify to be a senior counsel. If you know better, better, why are you turning this thing into a farce? It's farce to you, not to me. And deal with it as a farce yourself. Will you concede, Advocate Defo, that in fact you went into this trial having... A different case in mind. You are trying to prosecute the case that the National Prosecuting Authority chose not to prosecute. And now you're finding yourself in the middle of it. You've bitten off more than you can chew and you're beginning to crumble. That's your perception. And keep on your perception. Well, it's prove me wrong. Give me, give, me an, give me an answer that proves me wrong. I'm not accountable to you, sir. That's what I you're said. an officer of the court. Anything, anything. What do you mean you're not accountable to the public? You're an officer of the court. Yes, I will accountable to the uh, uh, public in a manner that is uh, show the respect to the public, and that's what I'm saying. That uh, there is a response from the office of the public. I mean, of the national uh, 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 concern, which is the number one office of the president. He took all this effort. The uh, president has got a lot of to do, but if the president can have the time to respond to the allegation in the court, then it warrants me also to consider and take in fear. Then I should also show the same courtesy to the president. We start casting a vision to the public. For the so fourth the time, for know. the fourth time, advocate, I'm going to say to you, I've moved on yes, from I'm the going, issue I'm of the presidency. The, Talk I'm to going, me about going, the assault charges you face. You assaulted a female officer? Hello? Did you assault a female officer? That's the charge you face. I don't know those charges you're talking about. What do you mean you don't know those charges? What were you arrested for? In court, we all saw it. I'm surprised. Why I was arrested? If there isn't that, uh, uh, if there isn't that I, I also, uh, is a part of my withdrawal, that arrest. You so repeatedly failed... You repeatedly to fail for fail to show up for court dates. You're charged with trespassing. You're charged with assaulting a female officer. You haven't heard this before. Do you have a proof that I was supposed to appear in court in any other day? Do you have that proof yourself? You've become completely unhinged here, haven't you? I don't know what you're talking about. If you can show me the proof that I was supposed to appear in court on the 10th of January. Then I, 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 I will have to, to report. But you have said Maybe. this yourself. No, I did not say that. You didn't hear me. And here's the unfortunate thing, and, and I'll leave this conversation here. Please, leave it. Your, 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 actions, your actions ultimately are delaying justice for the Meiwa family, and they surely want closure. They deserve that, don't they? Let me remind you, because you've got amnesia, 
Ongani. Uh, the reason that today this case is in court, say thanks to Advocate Defu, and there are many, many people in this country who have put the love, who appreciate what Advocate Defu did. It's only you and your own people that see me in a wrong way. But the people of South Africa, the peace-loving people, the people who need the justice in this country, they know if it wasn't because of Advocate Defu, this matter could not have been in court today. And let me remind you, for your amnesia, uh, I was refusing. I was refusing the postponement. Postponement was done against me. My, our will as a, a defense of accused one to four. And uh, the other thing, for your information, is that if it was not, uh, well, it was so unfashionable to, uh, to, to, to represent the poor people that are before the court, considered to be the people who did something wrong to send them. No one, even the private lawyers here, in this country, they will say we don't want to. Uh, we don't want to uh, bend the bridges with the authorities. All right, we, we're going so to have to leave it there. Because. We're going to have to Thank leave it there. Um, oh, you poor man, you poor poor man. Advocate Defo Malisela, there. I think you've heard about all you need to know on that issue, haven't you?